Speaker, uh, Vernon Bogdaner called the noble Lord Lord Hailsham's amendment that we rejected yesterday a constitutional absurdity. Whilst it is essential that this House holds the Government to account and has meaningful votes on many things, does my right hon. Friend agree that it is absolutely essential that the separation of powers is observed and that in any compromise amendment it is clear that the job of the Government and the job of Parliament is different? Here, here. Well, can I say to my hon. Friend uh, that I am happy to, cl- to be clear about this situation. Of course, what we have seen is concerns raised about the role of Parliament in relation to the Brexit process. Um, what I agreed yesterday is that the, as the Bill goes back to the Lords, we would have further discussions with colleagues over those concerns. And I have agreed this morning with the Brexit Secretary that we will bring forward an amendment in the Lords. But there are a number of as- issues, a number of things that will guide our approach in doing so. My hon. Friend is absolutely right about the separation of powers and the different role between uh, the Government and uh, and Parliament. As my right hon. Friend, the Brexit Secretary, made clear yesterday in the House, um, a Government's hand in negotiations cannot be tied by Parliament, but Government must be accountable to Parliament. Government determines policy and Parliament uh, then, we need parliamentary support to be able to implement that policy. But the other aspect of this that I am absolutely clear on is that I cannot countenance Parliament being able to overturn the will of the British people. Parliament gave the decision to the British people. The British people voted to leave the European Union, and as Prime Minister, I am determined to deliver that.